Hey everybody, this is GliderCat and it's time to play. Today we're going to start a let's play on a game called Final Factory. This game is super cool. I featured Final Factory in a first look video a couple of weeks ago, so you can check out that video. I'll put a link in the description. Um, this game is being put out by Never Games Limited and I want to thank them for sponsoring this video. Very, very cool. And Final Factory is going to release into early access on April 9th, 2024. Uh, so definitely check that out, wishlist it. Um, I'll put links to the Steam page, the Discord, all that good stuff in the description. You can check it out. There was a demo for Final Factory. Um, that's not up as I record this, but there may be, you know, I'm guessing here, there may be another demo that goes up during the early access period. Um, let's jump into a new game. I'm going to use Glider Cat for my seed, which is what I used last time. And the objectives have kind of changed here, the tutorial settings. I'm going to go for normal. I was going to go for off, but I do want some objectives to kind of guide us along, especially early on. So we'll try that. Let's jump in. Boom. Welcome, traveler. You have been sent to these deep reaches of the cosmos to grow. Through a dark leviathan you have come, and you must consume all there is in this space to find your way through another. You are many, and you will be more. Okay, our first little objective here is to mine some bauxite ore. Whoops, <laughs> I kind of missed it that time. You do have to fly over the ore in order to collect it. Let's do you a couple more of these just so we have a little bit on hand. And this is going to be very, at least early on, this will be very similar to the first look. But we are going to go much, much further in this series for sure. All right, craft four bats to prepare for combat. Hit E, combat ships, one, two, three, and four. And while I'm at it, why not do another four? And you can see things are crafting in the bottom left, kind of as we're used to in a lot of factory games. While I'm waiting, I'm going to mine a bit more bauxite. Okay, we're about to get our new objective. Okay, use your frenzy ability. That is the V key, I think. I'm going to wait for a couple more bats to get crafted here and we'll do that. I'm just going to keep mining this box site. We are going to automate this real soon. All right. If you look at the top of the screen, you can see I've got eight, eight vehicles in my fleet and I have a max capacity of 10. We can expand that later on, but let's try the frenzy ability. If you hit the V key, boom, you can, Kind of send your fleet out in groups of four to go frenzy attack a target. Okay, now it says use your afterburner. That's just the space bar. Boom. Gives us a little bit of boost. That also is going to be upgradable. Plasma bolt is the C key and that just gives us the ability to shoot. Now this seems like it's been weakened a bit since we did the, uh, <laughs> of the first look, but it gives us a chance to uh, participate in the fighting along with our fleet. Um, that's the C key. Okay, build a construction bot. In order to place structures, you need a construction bot. Okay, as usual, we go into E, working ships, construction bot. We had just enough resources for that. I may run over here to the iron asteroid and collect some. Place your first mining structure near the bauxite asteroid. Okay, we're going to do that here in a second. Okay, open the crafting panel. And we need to build this mining station. I'm going to actually build three of these. Then we're going to fly over to the bauxite asteroid. I just want to collect some of this iron for crafting purposes. While we're waiting for our mining platforms to craft. That's probably good enough. Place your first mining structure near a bauxite asteroid. Let's do it. I'm going to my inventory. One, two, three. I'm going to go three up, three spaces into the green area where this is green. It's just so I can have room to attach solar panels onto this building. Uh, that's the next step. Attach a solar panel to your mining structure to power the station. Let's get those crafted. Ooh, we've got tons of resource. Let's get a ton of these crafted, like 20. Um, in fact, while I'm in here, let's get these connectors going too. 5, 10, 15, 20 of those. And about 5, 6 cargo holds. 
But wait for some of that stuff to craft. Looks like I've got the solar panels. I'm going to do two manual bauxite mining batches here. All right, solar panels are on my hotbar. I'll just attach these guys from here. One, two. All right, craft miner bots and add them to the mining structure. So fly near your structure and then go into the crafting menu, working ships, mining bots. Each platform can only take four of these. B and Q four. And as long as you're near the mining structure, um, these will automatically get assigned to the mining structure as they're crafted. If you're far away though, from the mining structure, they'll go into your fleet. See, now I've got this guy kind of just hanging out with us, this mining bot. Um, but if we go over to the mining structure, click it, we can just say, go ahead and take my, take my mining bots. So that's how you can get them out of your fleet if you're not nearby the mining structure. Okay, so now we're starting to mine bauxite. I want to store some of this for crafting. So I'm going to grab connector, boom, and I'm going to grab, oh, we don't have our, we don't have our um, cargo holds built yet. So we'll hold off on that says, print low density structures from an atomic printer. Craft and place an atomic printer so it's receiving ore. All right, let's get that going. Atomic printer, I think, is this guy. Boom, get that queued up. Um, I've got connectors, so I'm gonna get this kind of, whoops. Connector, rotate. This ready for how I know I kinda wanna build it. Still waiting on things to craft here. We got. Quite a bit of stuff left in the queue. Uh, I can collect bauxite out of here to keep these guys going. And I'm waiting for things to craft. I do have another mining station. Maybe while we're waiting, let's set up a mining station over here at the iron asteroid. It'll keep us productive while we're waiting for the things to get done. One, two, boom. Uh, we know we need power, so a couple solar panels. And then I got this guy. Boom, now we have our cargo holds. So I'm gonna make use of those. Boom. And I gotta get mining drones over here, so let's build four of those. One, two, three, four. And I'll just mine this and hang out here while those drones get built. There's one. And the mining bots, they will um, kind of deteriorate and eventually die off. Doesn't take too long, so we're going to need to resupply those constantly. And we'll, it's kind of the path that we're going to be on to automate that first, the construction of these mining drones. It's going to take a bit of work actually to get that done. We'll do it. All right. So we got some ore. I'm going to grab ore out of this cargo hold and back to the bauxite mine. Oh man, did our mine, or no, that our mining drones died off because I don't see them mining, but I think it's just the stations full. Let's grab the inventory out of there. Yeah. And put a cargo hold here and another one here just so we get some storage. All right. Print low density structures from an atomic printer. So we need to Get the printer down. I'm gonna put two more connectors. The atomic printer is right there. Let's slap that guy down. And now we're getting heat warnings. Um, we'll take care of that in a second. Pick a recipe for the atomic printer. Low density structures, boom. Okay, we're off and running on that production. We got power issues, let's throw down to make 10 more solar panels and put down a couple of these about one there and one there okay power's no longer a problem but heat is let's um i think they're going to tell us in the tutorial to do this but i'm going to jump the gun and build some heat sinks get those into the production queue want us to craft plasma engines. Let's set the rest. Can I set the recipe? Oh, first we need to craft an assembler and connect it to the atomic printer. So I like having intermediate storages between these things. 
Let me grab a connector. Boom, boom. Another cargo hold. Uh, filter here. This guy's making low density structures. So we're going to send low density structures up. Boom, boom. And now we're waiting on our assembler. Do we have it? Not yet. Still crafting. Empty the storage. Maybe run over to the iron mine and collect some stuff there. All that resource up. Right now we're just waiting for our assembler to finish crafting. Um, still don't see it. It's still in the queue. Think did we not pick it? Might not have. Let's uh, craft another one. In fact, we can get two of those in the queue. What's next? Do I have a mining platform? I do. While we're waiting, let's uh, get silicon mining going. Grab this guy. One, two, something like that. Get this guy some power. And we'll set up just a local storage here for crafting purposes. And I will craft some minor bots. One, two, three, four. Um, I can also craft two more combat ships. Oh, I'm missing something. I'm missing silica, actually. That's right here. Let's do a little bit of mining. While our minor bots are being crafted in my ship. Alright, looks like the crafting is completed. Let's uh, head back to the bauxite mine. Is this full? No, this guy is out of ships, so I'm going to craft four more. Our original miner bots died off, so we'll craft more and we will keep working on the factory over here. We finally have our assembler. Let's pop that guy down. Boom. Uh, we've got complaints about heat, so we did build a heat sink. So I'm going to slap one of these guys on where? About over here. Boom. Now we have structure problems. They want us to craft struts. Let's do that. Get 10 of those crafted up. Let's so these gears are structural problems when the gears start flashing here in red. Um, we can set a recipe on our assembler. They want us to build a ton. Well, what do they want us to build? Low density structures. Nope, we have those. Uh, plasma engines. So that's an intermediate plasma engine. I'm going to do the same thing I've been doing. I grab 10 more cargo holds, get those queued up. I might do it on connectors. Let's get 10 more connectors going. And I want to do a couple connectors here. Boom, boom. Another cargo hold. This is just my own kind of personal style. I like to have these interim storages because then we can kind of branch out. If we need to use these products in some other factory, we can kind of expand out and do it. All right, we have struts. We now need to craft a station core. So let's do that. That is this guy. Craft two of them. I think our miners are still working, but maybe at lower capacity. Uh, there's only two. I can give what I have. You're just waiting for crafting. I'm picking a lot of things to craft at one time. That's part of what's going on. Let's collect some resources while we're waiting. Boom, we'll grab all that silicon. And we'll grab all this. Can I make these guys some more bots? 
I can make three more. Give you that one. Alright. Just about done with crafting things. Let's get back to our station and put down the uh, station core. That's going to solve this stability problem we're having. Uh, they wanted us to use a strut. So let's grab a strut. Pop that down. Maybe two of these. And then our station core. Boom. Plunk that guy down. Okay, now we're back to having power problems. Fortunately, we've got lots of solar panels. Let's put some down. Boom. Uh, maybe over here. Boom, boom. Still have power issues. More solar. Where is a good spot? I guess down here is fine. We're going to get other options for power generation. This connector wants a filter. So let's send forth the plasma engines that we're making in our assembler and then those are going to go into storage awesome okay next objective is research the ship assembly so we'll go into research and where is ship assembly lasers defense platforms ship assembly let's do that boom connect the ship assembler to your assembler okay that's our assembler so they want a ship assembler i'm going to continue with my Kind of style here of just always using connectors first and we need a ship assembler that is this guy right here pretty sure right yeah let's get that built what am i short of on resources bauxite of all things that's us right here grab some more bauxite might have some in there no it's all being used for crafting There's our ship assembly, or no, that's our station core. Not you, I want you. Ship assembler. Look this guy down. Boom. Uh, we have heat problems. Let's put down another heat sink. Let's slap it next to our station core here. Boom. Okay, we're back in the green. Now we want to craft miner bots in the, shift, in the ship assembler. So we just got to pick a recipe here. Minor bots, and off we go. What's awesome about this, um, we do need more power. Let's get that taken care of, then I'll tell you what I was going to tell you. Um, that looks like a free spot. This looks like a free spot. For now, and even down here, maybe. Um, what's awesome about this, you'll see the minor bots go wherever they're needed on the map. So that is awesome. We're making them up here, and that guy flew all the way over to the iron asteroid because that's where we needed a miner bot. Um, they'll be sent down here to the silicon asteroid as well and the bauxite asteroid. So now we have miner bots automated. Okay, they want us to go into the map M. Okay, you can use the scroll wheel to zoom in and out, and the cursor keys to move. The movement is really fast. I'm just tapping the key here and it, it moves pretty quick press escape or M again to get out of the map you have proven yourself capable of wielding this sector awesome only large stepping stones will be given as guidance from here a leviathan lurks somewhere in this space build the dark stargate and send more of you through into the unknown so that we may continue the great assimilation of the universe will do all right, I'm just going to put some extra storage here while we have some resources. I'm going to collect up resources, and then we're going to work on this next objective here on the left side of the screen. And grab all this stuff to keep these guys going. Now that we have the mining bots automated, they will keep on mining. Um, I'm just going to, again, create some storage for us, for these resources. All right. What's next? We'll hit complete. 
Increase research bots from the ship assemblers. Okay. Research will no longer be given by objectives. We have to automate research bots uh, in appropriate stations. You can make your tech research a lot easier by having a ship assembler automatically produce research bots for you. All right. Let's see what it takes to make research bots. Boom. That is these guys right here. Asteroid research bots. And we're going to need this to climb the tech tree. We've got, what, five research left, so I don't think I can research really anything. Um, let's do lasers for the heck of it. I'll hit research. Yeah, we need ten more. And the way we're going to get it is by automating these research bots. So back to the recipe. This guy needs plasma engines. So we've already automated those. We're using those for our mining bots. We need AI controller circuits, and I can remember from the first tutorial we did in the first look video that we can make these out of silica, 100%. Yeah, two silica, and it's made in an atomic printer. So let's get on it. Structures, we know we're going to need an atomic printer. Let's get two or three of those crafted. Let's get another couple assemblers are crafted. And what else might we want? How about another station core? Another ship assembler? Um, we're going to need some stuff we don't have, I think. But let's, uh, let's get started. Down here. Um, we want a couple more connectors. We're going to try and automate the these guys right here. AI controller circuits. Just need an atomic printer. That is right here. Boom. Slap that guy down. Okay, we need our heat sink. We get a few of those. And then we have a ton of stuff already in our build queue. I'm going to throw two more heat sinks into the queue. Uh, we'll set a recipe on this for AI controller circuits. And as usual, I'm going to put two more connectors and a cargo hold right there. Boom. Filter this time on AI controllers. We need more power. Let's do it. One, two. Is that enough? That's enough for now. I'm going to throw another one down here preemptively. So now we've got the ingredients that we need for these research ships. Um, we got controller circuits and we got plasma engine parts. We need to get these together. And in order to do that, I think we need these. Oh man, these cargo logistics. Um, hmm, how can we do it? How can we do it? Now we can build research stations. Let's build a few of these. One, two, three, four to start with. These are where the research bots are going to be kind of homed. And I think we can fit four in each one. But what I really need to complete this design, I need these cargos, these guys right here. Cargo drones. And I need more research to do it. So let's see if we can... Um, See what we can do about that. I'm going to grab some of these AI controllers. Put down our research stations kind of near, maybe near our bauxite asteroid here. And we'll put these one, two, I'm going to go three out just in case we need room for solar panels or something. Put four of these down. Uh, they need power. Let's throw down some power on these guys. One, two, three, and four. I'm going to make five more solar panels so we have them. Grab some resource out of here. Boom. That one's empty. Now I want to change the recipe on here just temporarily. Let's go into recipes. We're going to change this to research bot. Boom. We've got the 
plasma engines coming in. I'm going to just manually throw in these AI circuits that we grabbed. Boom. Whoops. Back to it. You into there. And now we should see research bots coming out and they will automatically go to these research stations. Then we're going to have to switch this over. Um, that research. Let's see. Let's watch them do their thing. Here they go. So they're starting to research. We should see our research count kind of start ticking up here. Come on, fellas. I'm looking at the top left of the screen. Uh, this is the one we really want to research. So I'm going to uh, select that one. There it goes. We're starting to get a little bit of research. And we brought over a whole pile of um, AI controller circuits. We can bring over more if we need to. Not sure how many does it use for each one. It uses four per. So yeah, we should be in decent shape. Is it 10, 14 more I think we're going to get? And I believe each one of these... Research stations can hold four. Yeah, so that one's got four, that one's got four, that one's got one, and that one's got zero. So let these guys do their thing. Yeah, now research is starting to tick up. But what we're going to want to do is um, build a factory probably up here somewhere. And we're going to take the... These components that we're making over here, what are these guys called again? Plasma engine parts and combine them with those AI circuits and automate the production in a new, um, in a new factory. So what's next over here? I think we can get by with, um, we need logistics stations. So I gotta get there. Oh, that research is done. Good. Just gonna pick a new one. We'll finish this one that we had started on lasers. Now we can build. Where are you? This guy right here, logistics base. Let's get five of those going or six of those going. And then in working ships, we want a couple of these guys, cargo drones. And then we're gonna also want these inserter bots too. Whoops, that's fine. I need more solar panels as well. Back to working ships. I'm going to craft 10 of these inserter bots also so we have them. All right. Uh, research is done. Notice the research bots stop when there's no research selected. So let's keep this moving. Uh, bat damage one increases the damage done by our bats, which are defensive fighters. Let's um research that. Uh, can we? I don't think we can actually queue up research. No, I think it's one at a time. If I'm not mistaken. Let's let that go. And now. Let's see what we can do. I think. I think what I want to do. I'm just going to do two more connectors here. Boom, boom. And then I'm going to put that into our new. Logistics Bay. Pop a Logistics Bay right there. Okay, now we're having structural issues. Let's throw down a couple struts. Um, maybe off of this storage, actually. And then put a station core that'll give us stability. Boom. Okay, now we're back in action. Well, we've got this logistics bay. We can throw down a cargo drone. This guy hauls things long distances. So we're just going to set the starting node at the logistics bay. Boom. And then we're going to do something similar over here. We want these guys, right? These plasma engines. In fact, let's get this guy. I'm going to switch this back. Working on minor bots so we can keep getting resources. But that's where the engine parts are coming in. 
we're gonna need to scale all this up too. We're gonna run into supply issues here pretty soon. Um, okay, connectors. Boom, boom. Another logistics bay. Okay, right there. And a cargo ship. We call it cargo drone. Same kind of thing. Set you up right there. Uh, that is off by one. I can just right click to remove. And let's put them right there is where I need them. Okay, this station's complaining about power. Let's throw down some more solar panels. Um, how about up top here? For now. Man, still complaining about power. Not happy about that. Let's put down some more. Boom, boom. Now we're complaining about heat. So another heat sink. Maybe this time over here. Alright, nothing's flashing, so we're in good shape. Alright, so let's figure out where our next factory is going to be. It's going to be one of these guys. A ship assembler is going to be the main thing. So let's start with you there. Let's put logistics. Controller or list logistics. What is this guy called? Logistics hub. Um, I don't want this going into storage too. This guy has a little bit of storage. I want more. So I'm gonna have you dump into there, to there, there, and a couple more connectors. But we need power. Boom. I think we can put power there too, actually. Um, we want to send through these guys, plasma engine parts. And we want our ship constructor to build research this time, research bots. Like we need to throw a heat sink on. Let me get a couple more of those crafted. Pop that guy up here, maybe. And we need to bring up the AI circuits, so... Another logistics hub to collect them from here. Mm, how do I want to do this? That's fine. Now I need to get those into there. What we can do, this guy wants power. Boink, boink. Um, let's see. Doink, doink. Cargo hold filter on AI circuits. So those will start getting sent into this cargo hold. And then I need to get them up here. We can try with um, one of these guys. Where is it? The drones. Here, inserter bot. Let's get this guy. Here. And then we'll go to another cargo. Boom. Two connectors or three connectors, that's fine. And now we need a little bit more power. Boink and boink. There we go. Now we've done it. We've automated the research bots. There they go. Awesome. Now there is a little bit of a problem. Let's select research first and then we'll talk about the problem. Problem has to do with the lack of this this component right here. This is going to allow us to split. It's kind of like a belt splitter for our connectors. So let's get that started. The problem we have is if we look here, we're slowly. Whoops! What happened there? What? What's that? Somehow that got sideways. Something looks weird over here. Let's um put these back down. These two connectors. Around the hot bar too. Boink boink. There we go. We watch. All of our little motors here are going off to the left. 
So the cargo holds don't evenly distribute things. So we want to research that distributor. That's going to allow us to distribute between the two paths here. Even if we put another connector off of our assembler here and say, give me these guys, these plasma engines, it still is only going to go one way. So while we're waiting for that research to complete, I'm going to grab resources for crafting. Grab all this. And I gotta, probably should be watching my inventory. It looks like I still have tons of room. And I'm going to grab all this. Go way down that research. Um, now that we've automated the research ships or drones, we should see this number increase to um, 16. Four for each one of these research stations. I suppose we could build more. I don't know if there's a reason not to. Let's see. Yeah, right now we're getting starved out. Our miner bots are getting starved out. See, they've died off. And because all of our plasma engine parts are going off to research ships, we don't have mining drones. But hopefully this new component's gonna solve that problem for us. We're just about done with the research. All right, select research, boom, let's pick another one. Um, defense platforms, exploration, increase your personal fleet capacity by 20, kind of want that. I'm gonna pick that one. Now let's build um, some of these junctions. I'm gonna get like 15 of those queued up, maybe even 20. Grab some more connectors and how are we doing on solar panels? We have 10, let's chew up all those too. What am I short on? Looks like bauxite. Let's see if I can get some more of that. Just for handcrafting purposes. All right, do we have our junctions yet? We do. So let's get rid of this cargo box, even though I like cargo boxes. Let's put a junction down. Do I have them on my hotbar? I don't. Uh, we could put them on the hotbar, I suppose. And let's try that. And when I was playing earlier, let's we'll watch this and see how it does. What am I missing? Now I'm missing, I'm missing cargo bots. Let's um juice this up. I'm just gonna throw some bauxite into there. Is that bauxite? Silica. Uh, let's see. Can I empty this? Oh, there's got to be a way to empty that. I guess we'll just delete those. We're basically out of mining drones. I guess I can just create those. Working ships. One, two, three, four. And we're out of mining ships, mining bots, because we didn't have a junction here. And all of our engines were going off to research drones. This will get some bauxite back into the system. And then hopefully we'll see some of these going up. I did notice there was a little bit of a problem. So let's watch these, see how they go. That one went up. That one went to the left. That one went to the left. So these are supposed to be evenly distributing. And I'm noticing a three to one. I did report that to the developer. At least it's, at least we're going to get, um, mining bots are going to get created. What's next? Let's scale up this operation. Um, and what we can do, let's get another few mining stations set up. I want to get more bauxite being mined. Uh, let's pick research. Gotta keep that going. How about more damage for our ships? Take it. You can see up at the top of the screen, we now have room for 30 bats. Let's uh, make some of those. Combat ships. 5, 10, 15, 20. That's 28, 29, 30. Okay, 
A new mining platform. I don't know if these can be right next to each other or not. I'm going to put it there. They can, I believe, um, route their inventories like this. So if I send over that way, we should get, we should start getting some mining drones over here, hopefully. I guess I can maybe help that. Let's build a couple ourselves. Give these guys a boost. That's going to take a while because we have a bunch of ships in our queue. Take some of that. And bauxite. Send some in here and just kind of force the production line to move a little faster. Okay, we're starting to get more mining drones down here. There we go. Yeah, so we can pipe that resource right on through. That's awesome. And then it looks like there's a little bit of a bottleneck here, right? I think. Let's get another atomic printer. Do I have one? Um, I do. I put that here. Let's see. How would we want to do this? How do we want to do this? Let's put it there for now. And then let's maybe change this one to a distributor. Boom. 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 I can still put a cargo hold in here if I want. Uh, let's set the recipe for low density structures. And I think, I think I can just send these back over to the right. Let's try it. Oink. Low density structures. Oops, did I pick the wrong thing? Yeah, I did. Low density structures. Those will make their way up. Uh, this got turns. So let's get that back on here. Boom. Seeing that same issue with the distributors. It's kind of coming three off to the left and then one up high. But this this will eventually back up and hopefully this will flow through. In fact, it looks like we could do even more mining, right? How many miners do we have right now? This guy's only got two. This guy's got four. Um, we're going to hit this button down here at the bottom of this, kind of near the bottom of the screen, just to the left of the map. It says F3. You can hit the F3 key or we can just click this button. That will hide our fighter jets or fighter ships until an enemy is close by. So I'm just going to get those out of the way. Right now we're still struggling with minor bot production. We should have eight down here. Problem is mainly this guy routing only one per every four is going up where we want it. Thinking if we can get them, if we can get more miner bots, then this will all kind of equalize. Come on, buddy. We have now one, two, three, we have six. Just watching production levels here. Uh, we can pick new research. Let's do that. Fleet command two, increase your personal fleet capacity by 20 more. I'm going to take it. That one's got two, that one's got four. I don't want more of these. I'm going to... There's another thing we can do on these distributors. Or these junctions. We hover over here. It says, set the edge of the station that output to connectors will be sent to first. 
Um, so right now it should be on evenly distributed. If I pick this one, I think it's going to send them all up. Let's see. It was doing it. Nope, let's go the up arrow then. Now it's prioritizing the up direction. That looks like that's working as expected. Let's do that for a bit. Let's see if we can't get the bauxite production up. Okay, now we're at four and four. I may do yet another mining platform. Let's do it. Let's try and max this out a bit. It looks like we're still good on power and stability. I'm shocked and heat. Still have gaps here. We're not saturated yet. Let's keep an eye on it. We've got four, eight, eleven. That should be twelve right there, right? One more. There we go. We've got twelve bots mining bauxite. We're still using all of it, right? I don't think it's backing up here too much. Right now we're still sending all of our plasma engines up into mining bot production. I would expect this inventory to fill up. Oh, remember this guy is supplying mining bots everywhere. So over to the iron mine and down here too. Do we need even more production? Bauxite. I'm looking at these guys right here. Looks like there's a pretty steady flow. Um, in fact, inventory, this inventory is kind of maybe backing up. This one's probably backed up. Nope. There we go. Now we're now we're caught up, so now these engines are going over over that way too. I think I'm gonna leave it like this. Actually the way it is. Prioritize the mining drones. That's our raw resources. And then whatever is extra is going to produce the research drones. And they end up waiting anyway for me. So let's uh pick more research. We got defensive platforms. Exploration. Lighting, logistics management. This is the one I think we want. Let's get that going. That's going to allow us to have like, um, this allows for the construction of stations that will help manage the logistics of your fleet. So this is basically like a big old hangar for our spaceships. Uh, and that's going to be handy for the next objection. They want our objective. They want us to automate bat production. We've got room for 20 more bats in our fleet. Let's um let's handcraft some of these. In fact, we'll do everything else we can. What am I short on? Bauxite ore. So I'm gonna grab some out of here for handcrafting. And let's go explore a little bit. Portal here we can activate. So just right click on this guy and charge it up. The old masters have left us a device of great power. If only this twisted space could be unraveled so that we may hop along the stars unhindered. Alas, only the Leviathans offer us such pathways, so we must grow. And grow we shall. Another big iron asteroid out here. That'll come in handy. 
Uh, it does show how much ore is remaining, too, on the pop-up on the right. So 138,172 units of iron. Oh, research bonus 25%. What's the bauxite? Yeah, research bonus 25%. That has 74,800 roughly. This one's got 101, and this guy's got 71,000 left. Yeah, they all have that research bonus 25. Look at all this mess over here. Let's go. I'm going to show my little buddies. And let's head over this way. I'm going to get my frenzy ability ready. We want to take out these enemies over here. How far will you go? Nice. Let's send these guys out, and then I'm going to participate as well on these spawners. Uh, we got more enemies over here. More little spawners. All right, we did it. Let's collect this. We get a little bit of research points, and let's charge up this thing. Thank you, Traveler. My consciousness has been reactivated. I am of the Celestara, a priesthood of the once great Luminai civilization. I can grant you some small part of our former power if you bring me Lumin orbs. Return to me when you have gathered a sufficient amount. All right, those Lumin orbs, we're going to collect those as we find these like obelisk things. If you look at the top of the screen next to my little um, health, my hit points, this is them right there. Lumen orbs used to purchase upgrades from Celestara Oracles, and that's our Celestara Oracle. Let's see what else we can find before we end this episode. Might be something nearby. Uh, let's look at the map. Anything shown? Oh, there's something down here. Whoa. Let's take a look. Uh, looks like we got some buddies over here. Oh, and there's one of those obelisks. Boy, there's a lot of enemies there. Let's head over there and see if we can take those guys on. Mining drone on his way. Uh, let's pick research again. Ship reprocessing. That's for the construction of ship reprocessors that recycle ships and I'll put their spare parts. Bad damage three. Let's research that. I don't think it's going to come into handy with this particular battle. Uh, where research points required are kind of going up. Let's research that. We'll head over here and see if we can take on these guys. I'm going to get my frenzy ability ready. And then I'm going to join in the fight here and start focusing on the spawners. Our main gun on the ship is not real strong, at least not yet. Click some research and let's charge this guy up. The right click. Okay, and there's our little lumen orb, so let's collect those. Boom and boom. Anything else on the map that we could go check out? Let's head over to the planet. Let's head over to the planet. Uh, there's some stuff here too. These are comet fragments. They get us some resources that are a little hard to get in the early game. They just give us small quantities, so we'll take these while we see them. Ice and organics. I'm gonna make my way over to that planet and see what that's all about. Comments. Let's grab these. Research. We're at 70 out of 100. Maybe we'll get to 100 by the time we get to the planet. We can take advantage of the extra bonus. 
Um, we can craft a couple more bats. We've got room for two more in our inventory. Where's that planet? Am I getting close? I'm getting close. Uh, more comets. We can kill some time here doing that. I got some people attacking me though. All right, let's um start frenzying on these guys. All right, we're in the battle. Let's just uh, see if we can finish these guys off. Man, there's a bunch of them. Might regroup. Regroup. Collect some research points. Uh, they don't want us to regroup, do they? All right. Uh, we managed to keep all of our bats. Our shield took some damage. going to mine these comets. Oh, research is done. So we've got the extra um, power now. Extra attack power for our bats. All right, let's head back into battle. Get my frenzy ability going. Okay, and then I'm gonna try to help out here on the spawners. Uh, we got a lot going on over here, don't we? Take out these spawners. I still have a lot of ships here. Let's keep going. Forty-three out of fifty ships. My hit points look to be good. I'm at a hundred. More spawners here. Take those out. I think we've done it. Oh, a few more. Collect our research points. We'll check out the planet in a second. Let's get all this stuff. Looks like there's a silica asteroid. This one's bigger than it looks. 222,000 units of ore remaining on that one. And I think there was some points for us to get up here. Maybe they've despawned. Thought we had some extras. It may have gone. It's time to select research anyway. Let's um, pick another one. This one is even more damage. I'm going to take it. But look at it. It's 2,500 research. We may end up stopping this one, but we'll let it go for now. Check out the planet. Does it say anything about it? Oh, we got more buddies. Let's get my little frenzy ability going on these guys. I'm going to come in and take out these spawners if I can. Boom. This guy's gone into the breach here. Hit points look good. I got a decent number of drones left, 43. All right. They are now dispatched with. I thought it was going to tell us something about the planet. It says a, pl a world filled with life. More buddies. All right, let's call it an episode there. What do we do? We got a bunch of stuff automated if we kind of go into map view and check things out. We've got a pretty decent scale bauxite production. In fact, the bauxite actually looks like it's backing up a little bit. Um, that's actually not bad to see. We've got our mining robots or mining drones automated. So all of our mining platforms will automatically get filled with drones. This one, we're not seeing drones active because it's um, inventory is full. And we automated the research bots and those guys are doing their thing over here. So not a bad start. On next episode, we will get to the objectives over here on the left side of the screen. 
Um, and I'll find my way back over there. But yeah, that's it for this one. For now, this is Gladdercat saying thanks so much for watching. Again, this is Final Factory. It's being put out by Never Games Limited. And it's going to be released into early access on April 9th. Again, this video was sponsored by Never Games Limited. So definitely appreciate that. And uh, yeah, next episode, we'll pick it up from where we left off. want to thank Gladdercat patrons and channel members for their support of the channel, as always. And with that, I'll see you all in the next episode.